York's classic rock, Q1043. Speaking of New Jersey, The Sopranos. The new book, Woke Up This Morning by Michael Imperioli and Steve Sharippa. And we have Steve with us via Zoom this morning at Q104.3. Good morning. What's up, Steve? How are you, Shelly? Jim, how are you? And doing okay. Congratulations to you. This is the publication of your seventh book. Wow. Seventh book, and it's with Michael. And, of course, Michael always gets top billing, Jim, for some reason. I don't know why that is, guys. It's but alphabetical. It's it's that's alphabetical. Right. Yeah, that's what I he comes before us. Listen, that's what he claims. I'm not buying it, but that's how it worked out. But we <laughs> wrote this book together, and uh, it's definitive. It's called Woke Up This Morning, The Definitive Oral History of the Sopranos. And we have 99% of the cast, the crew, the writers, directors, David Chase himself, Stevie Van Zandt, Edie Fogger, Lorraine Bracco, and on and on. And... Uh, Telling their stories, their journey behind the scenes. All, there's things in this book only people that were there would know. And that's what we're trying to give the people out there, a peek behind the curtain of what we, what we did. You know, I, I enjoyed the photo of the uh, cast all gathered together in uh, Florida to watch the last episode together, which is the first time that you guys knew about the ending. Yeah, well, it's the first time we watched it together. Yeah. We went down there, you know, it was like the finale. 10,000 people showed up. There was a red carpet throughout the casino at the Hard Rock. Even Stevie Van Zant was impressed. Now, this <laughs> is a guy playing stadiums, right? And he goes, uh -huh. I mean, he was impressed. He, he told, I think, Lorraine, if you want to know what it's like to be a rock star, here it is. And uh, we were down there. You can see the picture. We're a little banged up. The, We've been drinking for about four hours before that, I guess. Steve, was your what was the, your guys' reaction to the end? Because all of us were hitting the TV and calling out and cursing. What was your reaction? Well, you know, I knew what was going to happen. I read the script, and it said fade to black. But I had no idea it was going to be like an abrupt out, you know. And so when we watched it, and it was nine of us alone, in in uh, in a room, we were, we opened up champagne. We were eating. Uh, some people liked it immediately. Michael Imperioli loved it. Jim Gandafini was going, "What the hell happened?" I didn't know what was going on, and it was a very mixed reaction. Even though we knew, we all knew, uh, but we didn't know. Well, and, fade to black does not really describe what happened. Exactly. I mean, you see in, exactly. in, in, in scripts, you see fade to black all the time. That's exactly so. That's what I read, right? I wasn't in the episode because I got, you know, Bobby got shot the episode before. But fade right. to black, and we were all like, what the hell just happened? And we were all stunned like the rest of the world, you know. <laughs> well, this book is published by William Morrow, which is an imprint of HarperCollins Publishers. It's a beautiful book. The photos, it has a, 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 a nice full color photo section. And it's, it's basically conversation between all of you. Yeah, 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 yeah. We, you know, listen, we have the podcast talking Sopranos. This is that plus 50%. You know, we went back, we, the people came on the show, but we talked to them afterwards and got even more information. Listen, there's so much stuff, you know, that people don't know. Tony Sirico, Paulie Walnut's one of the most, you know, the favorite characters of people. He, when he got on the show, he was 55 years old, living on, uh, with his mother, sleeping on a cot in her living room. Wow. When he got on The Sopranos. Dominic Kianese, 68 years old, dead broke in a studio apartment, uh, sleeping in a, a, a lazy boy. Wow. You know, and, and so we have all these stories of how it changed people's lives. Richie Appeal, Appeal who uh, uh, David Proval played, had been a journeyman actor. When he got the role, he came to New York. He flew himself out. He said he got the call, went into his hotel room and collapsed on the bed and cried. So it's all these really honest conversations about their time on the show. Some very funny stuff. And and Tony Tony Sirico, by the way, is is in the very first photograph in the photo section giving the finger. Giving the finger. <laughs> I guess he was in, he was in character. 
We, we, <laughs> he's always a character. We told the, the story about Tony, him and Grandpa Munster, the only two people that had that hairdo. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, it didn't take off like the Elvis or the Rachel, you know? And yeah. we've got, we love Tony Sirico, and there is a ton of stories uh, that only. <laughs> I mean, they broke the mold with Tony. Well, he's a uh, you know, he's we, a we, we, he's a great guy. Great guy, a lot of fun. Hey, Steve, yeah. Steve, The Sopranos is hotter than ever. I love the Many Saints of Newark. What did you think of it? I liked it. I liked the movie very much. You know, and uh, I thought Michael Gandolfini was terrific. Uh, I thought the the lead, uh, Alessandro Nivola, should get nominated. Uh, I really liked it, and it is more popular than ever because uh, with the streaming services, I think more people are watching The Sopranos than ever. New generation, kids in their late teens, their 20s are watching this show, and it's amazing. And, you know, we get people from as far as Saudi Arabia, Israel, or the U.K., the show is massive. It's big, it's big Australia. Big what about Australia? When Australia. you guys went to Australia, you were like filling arenas. We were, <laughs> it was amazing. And now we're doing, we're going June 10th. We sold out the London Palladium. They just added a second show. June wow. 10th, we go on a 16 city tour in the UK. Yeah. And we're at the Borgata. Uh, we're at the Borgata tomorrow night. Me, Vinny and Michael. Vinny Pastor and Michael doing our comedy and conversation with the Sopranos. So if you got nothing to do, Come on down. It's Steve Sharippa with us. Uh, the book is Woke Up This Morning. Okay, I just opened the book up and randomly found page 239. And here's you asking Michael a question. Do you believe in the Jersey Devil? Michael then says, 100%. <laughs> you know, it's from our viewpoint. And Michael has some... Uh, Listen, we're, we're best of friends and we're complete opposite. He believes in ghosts and the Jersey Devil and he believes in flying squids. He told me, <laughs> and we talk about it in the book, he said I wasn't, a dolphin was smarter than me, he told me. He told me a dolphin was smarter than me. So uh, he's a vegan, he uh, meditates, he's a Buddhist, I'm everything but that. So uh, we are complete opposite, but it's from, he was there from day one. I came on the second season. So it's the two of us telling the story of all these people, you know, and uh, yeah, he believes in the Jersey devil. Well, the two of you will be at uh, one of the greatest bookstores in America, bookends that's on yeah. East Ridgewood Avenue in Ridgewood, New Jersey. You're going to be there on Tuesday evening at seven o'clock. Uh, not just for a book signing, but also for photo ops. Photo ops. We're going to take pictures. I think you need to be vaccinated, but uh, it'll be great. It's going to be great. We're looking forward to that. I, I, I very much love that the city and, and people are out and about again. It really makes me happy, you know. Uh, well, that's a, that's a great bookstore. Um, and you know what makes it great? It's owned by book lovers. Yes. Yes. I mean, that's it. That is, that is just a great place. And I, you, you go in and you, you go downstairs there and, and, and it'll be a great experience for you to meet Steve and Michael in person. That's Tuesday, 7 PM. And then you have a Barnes and Noble zoom webinar. And yeah, that's virtual. We're going to sign the books. You could buy a signed book and uh, we're going to do a talk. You know, there were moderated by Matt Wolf and uh, we're going to do uh Answer questions to our uh, to our shtick, as they say. That's you know? Monday, November eighth, and that'll be at seven o'clock. And the show that you do, uh, you and Michael with Vinny, in uh, Atlantic City tomorrow. What is that like? So we have a comedian, Joey Cola, and he comes out. Now we, we this is our third one since we've been back. We did Mesa, Arizona. We did Youngstown, Ohio, and there's a comic, and then there's clips. And then we, uh, there's a moderator, Joey Cola. He asks us questions, how you got on the show. Uh, we give funny stories, uh, you know, some that are in the book. Like Michael, there's a story, uh, Michael tells a story, him and Jim, uh, they, they were doing a scene where they're throwing a body off a cliff. 
and uh, they had to light it. So they had three hours till it got dark and they went in and they drank a bottle of wild turkey, him and Jim oh. Caffini, the two of them. So they come out there literally staggering and now they got to throw this body. They had no lines, dialogue. So they got to throw the body off the cliff. So they chained their legs to the tree oh. so they don't fall off the cliff. This is season four. Oh, my four. God. <laughs> there wouldn't have been a season five. Uh, right. Oh, my it. God. Okay, so, so you will find those kinds of secrets and more in Woke Up This Morning, Michael Imperioli and Steve Sharippa. <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny. Published by William Morrow. And remember, uh, uh, book ends in Ridgewood, New Jersey on Tuesday at 7 p.m. Of course, you continue your great work as one of the stars of Blue Bloods. Oh, the show's doing great. Four weeks in a row, uh, we won the night in ratings. Oh. Four weeks awesome. in a row. Here's a show. We're in our 12th season. Some great storylines coming up. Couldn't Couldn't be better. Congratulations. Say hi to my friend Abigail Hawk for me if you see her. I certainly will. Thank you, guys. Thanks for having me. And uh, Shelly, I'll be sending you that book. Oh, thank you. You know, we love you, Steve. We thank do. You. And, you know, we've proven to you. We told you a long time ago, you are welcome anytime. Right. And you thank know you, you are. Much. Thank you very much. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll catch you on the tail end of this again. I'll okay. come to the studio. All right. Yay. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Okay. Very much. Thanks, Steve. Thank you, Steve. Go Knicks. Go Knicks. <laughs> New York's classic rock. Q1043.